I have been wearing the Apple Watch for a couple of days now. While it has offered a very different user experience from most wearables I've been exposed to, is it comparable to some smartwatches such as the Samsung Gear S? This is Warren with KL Gadget Guide. Let's put the Apple Watch and Samsung Gear S on a head-to-head -head comparison. Design is a very subjective matter. Both the Apple Watch and Samsung Gear S possess their very own design languages. Apple has given the watch a squarish design with an aluminum frame, 2.5D curved glass just like the iPhone 6. There's two ways of navigating around the watch, either by using the digital crown or swipe gestures on the touchscreen. On the other hand, the Gear S makes the Apple Watch really small with its huge 2-inch curved AMOLED display and bulky form factor. Samsung has also used a similar design approach that makes the device look like a Galaxy smartphone with its home button placement and chrome coated edges. Both watch displays are relatively bright and colorful, with the Apple Watch faring better visibility outdoors. In terms of specifications, Apple uses a customized S1 processor with 512MB of RAM, while the Gear S uses a Snapdragon 400 dual-core processor with the same amount of RAM. Apple packs 8GB of storage into the watch with 2GB for music storage and 75MB for pictures, while Samsung gives the Gear S 4GB of memory with no limitations on storing apps and content. In other hardware features, the Apple Watch has an inductive charging base, NFC for Apple Pay, optical heart rate sensor, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The Gear S has an optical heart rate sensor, UV sensor, and the ability to insert a nano SIM card with access to voice and data features. Now, these two smartwatches play a very different role in becoming your smartphone's companion. The Apple Watch is literally an extension of your iPhone's apps and only if the developer chooses to build a watch app. You will then be able to use some specific features of the app on your wrist without taking out your phone. On the other hand, Samsung's own Tizen OS offers a more standalone experience. Apart from having its own set of apps that synchronizes with your smartphone, the Gear S can run apps of its own such as a web browser, games, and news readers making it more extensible than the Apple Watch if developers ever choose to support their platform. Unfortunately, the Gear S app catalog is still very scarce, and not many Android apps have extensions on the Gear S. When it comes to fitness, they both offer similarly good experiences and feature their own fitness tracking ecosystem while extending support for third-party fitness tracking apps. What makes these two smartwatches really different is connectivity. The Apple Watch relies on either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to work. Whereas on the Gear S, you can simply pop in a data SIM card, leave your phone at your home or office, and continue to receive notifications from your smartphone remotely using HSPA+. What's more, you could even make and forward phone calls through the Gear S SIM card and send text messages, even though that tiny keyboard could be a challenge to use. Both the Apple Watch and Gear S answers phone calls through its loudspeakers and microphone. We are happy to report that the Gear S produces a more audible call volume than the tiny loudspeakers on the Apple Watch. Callers also reported a better sound quality of the Gear S than the Apple Watch. Since both devices don't feature power-efficient hardware for a smartwatch, they both last a full working day based on the moderate weighted usage. However, if these watches are receiving tons of notifications, be prepared to charge them in the middle of the day or try limiting app notifications. Apple made an effort to manufacture a wearable after smartwatches have existed for at least 3 years. Its software operation is flawed and it doesn't make sense at times. For instance, its honeycomb style app screen doesn't tell you an app name and you've got to train yourselves to remember app icons. The problem is, I didn't even notice if the app I downloaded has a watch app and you just gotta do some self-discovery. On the other hand, the Gear S isn't perfect as well. It lacks the support of many Android apps and most people are not in favor of the huge bulky hardware on their wrist. And worst of all, it only supports Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Apple and Samsung has got a long way to go in making wearable operating systems. Watch OS is getting its new release soon and Samsung hasn't given any indication on how it is making Tizen more relevant and connected with its smartphones. But it'll be interesting to see how these two companies are able to make a difference in the wearable market in the coming months.
That's it for the comparison of the Apple Watch and the Samsung Gear S. We hope this video helps, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos from us. We are on social media, so do follow us for the latest tech stuffs happening around you. My name is Warren with KL Gadget Guy, and I'll see you soon in the next video.